The time has come for me to reveal everything I know about quarks. These strange beings which defy all scientific laws. I'll no longer yield to their pressure or threats. Nothing can silence me anymore. The Elastofragmentoplast. The key that opened the door to this peculiar new universe. What attracted my attention was the number of objects suddenly and inexplicably breaking. But I was soon to realize that nothing would ever seem natural to me again. Listen. Only after months of painstaking research did I finally observe the first specimen. Though you cannot see it yet, the creature is already there. The detector is scanning for the right frequency. I've got it. There it is. With these images, no one will dare deny the existence of the quarks. What can be its purpose in systematically shattering nearby objects? And why do liquids become solid for an instant before regaining their liquid state? It would take many more close observations before I would better understand the elastofragmentoplast. Two hundred and thirty-seven objects destroyed in one week. If I hadn't sighted the elastofragmentoplast by a chance in my kitchen, I would never have made this discovery. Days and days of research, but it's all become clear. I found it hard to believe that all this destruction was completely gratuitous. Reconstruction of the images in my laboratory left no shadow of a doubt. The elastofragmentoplast absorbs the substance he attacks. And I would finally understand why the liquids he slices turn solid. But what is he doing here? Clearly, like most males of his species, the elastofragmentoplast is attracted by curved shapes. Thanks to me, science has taken yet another giant step forward. It was quite early. I was thirsty. I didn't turn on the light, but fortunately, the detector was still on. I never imagined I'd find the elasto here in the bathroom. What was going on? I'd never seen the detector go into such contortions. It was him, all right. But he wasn't alone. When I first saw the other creature, I thought it was a new species. But in fact, it was the female. Two conclusions could be drawn. One, the elastofragmentoplast is not a hermaphrodite. And two, when he destroys objects, he's actually seeking his other half. This document is highly exceptional. The eternal laws of complementarity have proven universal, after all. Right here on the edge of my bathtub. And this is the fruit. The fruits of their union. Insignificant, just like our tablets or pills.
They're here. Invisible. Omnipresent. The quarks. Why does a cryptobiologist of my rank get swamped by the most mediocre documents and the wildest conjectures? Yet, there was something different about this message. The aeronautics manufacturers were quite right to send their film to me. Their control cameras had recorded a phenomenon which defies all conventional analysis. That thing on the left was no ordinary caterpillar. It was a new quarks. Its locomotion system seems to run counter to all known principles of movement. And yet, ultimately, it's merely a gyroscopic phase incremental translation. So how should the spatiostriata be classified? Easy. Its position is quite obvious, between the cuberoli and the millefolio. The Quoxian revolution has only just begun. Let's take a closer look at this phenomenon. For the spatiostriata, the world is traversed by spatial slices or portions, within which it simply doesn't exist. By comparing all observations gleaned so far, we can confirm the existence of a set of parallel zones from which it is totally absent. In just a few months, these zones have widened considerably. Each day, the spatiostriata's vital space is reduced. Its disappearance is now merely a matter of hours. What a frightful drama. What a terrible loss for science. Every time I turned on a hot water tap, cold water came out. The spirothermophage had invaded my entire plumbing network. I began to become acquainted with their secret life. Certain indications allowed me to come up with the first hypotheses on the spirothermophage's shape. I finally managed to obtain a satisfactory representation. What's most amazing is that even though there's no physical contact between the pipes, Spirothermophage multiply at an exponential rate. It's perfectly clear. They absorb heat in order to reproduce. Well, I have hot water again. They're here. Invisible. Omnipresent. The quarks.